So Warner Brothers has embarrassed itself yet again. I know, they're getting really good at that, right? By either, number one, not knowing what characters they're representing, or number two, thinking that all black people look the same. Now, what makes this even funnier is that somebody at Warner, they actually posted this correctly at the beginning. You can see the correct post at the bottom. Then they decided to remove it. They decided to put up the wrong one because, again, either people at Warner Brothers, they don't know the characters they're representing, or, again, all black people to them, they look exactly the same. Now this gets even better in my opinion because you notice what division this is from? This is from Warner Brothers UK. Warner Brothers UK was also partially responsible for what we saw from Peter Saffron here. Peter Saffron, the producer of Aquaman 2, also the producer of the Suicide Squad decided to single-handedly step out, damage that movie more than anything else out there. Huh, I'm starting to see a theme. You and I, we're going to talk about that today. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Oh man, Warner. So hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And if you would, one thing before we get started. There's a link at the top of our description there. That, it's for a new project coming up soon. That's a sign-up sheet. Check it out. I'll talk about it more at the end of the video. And thank you in advance. So when I say that Warner Brothers embarrass themselves with this theme, I mean that they truly embarrass themselves. They didn't just go out put out a statement that was wrong. They put out this statement that was wrong, and this statement, oh, it went everywhere. I mean, you can see it right here when it starts out in trending. Number 28 in entertainment, and you know what? It just keeps rising. Deadshot. Warner Brothers wishes actress Idra Elba a happy birthday, but incorrectly references him as the actor behind Deadshot instead of Bloodsport from the Suicide Squad. Hmm interesting. Now you and I, we're going to laugh. I mean, look at that post in just a second. We'll also look at what Peter Saffron had to say because that, oh, it was a doozy. But before we do that, I want you to really think about how much damage Warner Brothers has done to the Suicide Squad brand. Here's the new numbers. The new numbers, they are paltry, by the way. This is a movie with almost a $200 million budget. You also figure it has another $200 million in advertising. What's it made? $156 million so far. Compare that with a movie with a lower budget at $175 million in 2016. It makes four times that budget coming in at over $746 million. What's to blame? Well, they say it's the beer bug. They say it's theaters. I say it's that plus ineptitude. And speaking of ineptitude, well, check this out here. So you'll notice, first of all, this is official Warner Brothers. This is Warner Brothers UK. They note, some may know him as Stringer Bell, others as Deadshot, Happy Birthday, Idris Elba, Hashtag The Wire, Hashtag The Suicide Squad, and they put in his picture at the bottom with Happy Birthday, Idris Elba. Now, what's the big deal with that, you might be asking? I mean, after all, they wished Idris Elba a happy birthday, right? I mean, that that's all well and good. The only problem is that, well, they didn't wish Idris Elba a happy birthday. They actually wished Will Smith a happy birthday because Will Smith is dead shot. Yeah, they didn't seem to really get jiggy with it with that movie, did they? In fact, Warner Brothers made quite the deal out of this when it came up back in 2019, giving exclusive to shill media sites like Variety. This article, for example, it's from April 5th, 2019, and notice that headline there. Suicide Squad, Deadshot, removed from sequel as Idris Elba moves to new character exclusive. Even before that, you had Warner Brothers giving other interviews as well. Here's one from February 2019. This is with EW.com talking about Will Smith won't be back as Deadshot in Suicide Squad sequel. Again, 
you have press that's put out by Warner Brothers themselves talking about this subject. Now, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, something that makes this even funnier and more of an epic fail, in my opinion, is the fact that somebody got all of this information, right? But they decided to redact it for some unknown reason. You'll notice this original post here. This original post, by the way, it goes up 20 four minutes at least before this final post that we're going to end up with. Notice what this says here. Some may know him as Stringer Bell, others as Bloodsport. Huh, so they actually got it right at first. Then they decided to redact it. They decided to change the character. And as far as the message that's being relayed, well, let me pull up a couple of comments here for you. There are thousands and thousands of them that read the same as this, by the way. And remember, Hollywood, they would say things a certain way if you did this. People that represent Warner, you know, comic pros, for example, people in upper management for Warner, yeah, they would say that you're trying to do something. And what would they say? Let me give you a couple of choices. How WB Studio sees two brown characters who look nothing alike. Hmm. And here's somebody else commenting. Yeah. How could you possibly confuse Deadshot for Bloodsport? Entirely different characters, entirely different powers, entirely different backgrounds. So, you either have ineptitude as a choice, again, they don't know their characters, they don't know their actors, or well, you have something else. I'll let you be the judge, and remember, make them play by their own rules. Like I was saying previously, this isn't the only problem that Warner Brothers UK has been involved in. You also have the Peter Saffron debacle. Bockle. Peter Saffron, if you don't know that name, he's the producer of Aquaman 2, was also the producer of The Suicide Squad, and right before The Suicide Squad came out, he decided to make comments disparaging the fan. Quote, I don't think we're ever going to react to, honestly, pure fan pressure. You gotta do what's best for the movie. We felt that if it's James Wan, Jason Momoa, it had to be that certain nameless person. That's really what it was. One is not unaware aware of what's going on in the Twitterverse, but that doesn't mean you have to react to it or take it as gospel or accede to their wishes. You really have to do what's right for the film, and that's really where we landed on it. Hmm. Now, if you're wondering how Warner Brothers UK works into it, well, originally that interview, it was supposed to be hype for the Suicide Squad. It was supposed to talk about the UK premiere, how great it was. Peter Saffron was supposed to get out and talk about another set of actors. But, well, you see how they view actors. Apparently, if some of them look a certain way, I guess they're all the same. Interesting, isn't it? Anyway, let me know what you think about this. I think it's funny, if nothing else. Warner Brothers, they keep embarrassing themselves, but yeah, you let me know. Also, that link in the description, that's for our new comic book mailing list. Comic book coming up soon. See, we can either do nothing while we complain about companies, or we can try to take back the mediums that we love. This, it keeps us sponsor-free, beholden to no one. Check that link out. As always, thank you to... Appreciate the heck out of you. I'm going to end here with that. Thank you. Appreciate you. See you soon.